guys, welcome back to another episode of Growing Wild Farm and Garden. I'm trying to encourage people to uh, garden anyway. <laughs> Even if you don't think you can, you should, you should try. So anyway, we are going to talk about sweet potatoes. We're going to harvest ours today, see what they look like, and talk a little bit about how I did this season, like what I did and how I got what I got. So well, let's get to it. So. This is the sweet potatoes. We have one, two, three, four, five drums of sweet potatoes. And uh, you and I are about to find out how they did this year. So, first of all, they grow like crazy. Um, they enjoy our summers a lot, the humid, hot, tropical-ish kind of weather. And they produce a lot of vining. Um, this year they didn't produce that much vining, um, so I'm kind of a little concerned. There's probably five slips that I, I put in each of these, and uh, we're going to dig a grouping and see what it looks like. So the way I'm doing this is I'm using a hand trowel, just putting it straight down, far out from where I know a slip was, and I'm just kind of pushing up. At the same time, taking a hold of the vine and pulling. And these are the sweet potatoes I got off of this particular vine, which actually wasn't that big. That's not too bad. Uh, these are tiny, so I mean, I might use those for something else, but that's, that's smaller than I'm used to, but not bad. The vines, I will actually feed to our rabbit. And uh, luckily, like I said, there are five slips per drum. This is probably one of the better drums. The soil in it is loose. Um, so I'm hoping that some of the other slips did better. Maybe that was just a bad slip. It did. I know that this drum had a hard start. So, let's see what we got. I can already see one at the top of the soil right here. Okay, so better. Definitely, I will take these. I mean, they're not bad. Um, there's a bunch of just little things which when I make mashed sweet potatoes this is not terrible so and there's another one so what I do is I dig through and find the tubers down in here as you can tell there's some weeds lots of vines um, some of the vines actually from the next drum over we've got another set over here. So again, I'm probably a good six inches away from where I think the tubers might be, and I'm trying to get under them and push them up so that I don't damage anything. I don't want to damage the things I'm trying to harvest. So, just digging in, trying to oh, get these potatoes up. All right, now see, this is why I try to get away from them. That one's a good size one, but you can see I damaged it with my trowel just trying to get it out. Now, I'll use that thing anyway. I have found that whenever they dry, um, the cuts dry, I just wash them off and the cuts dry and it's not a big deal. Now, if you grow these, you'll see that you can dig them up and they'll have grown roots along the area they touch the ground. However, they do not always grow tubers. I haven't found that they ever grow tubers along the stem like that, which kind of sucks because that would mean that the more 
area you give to your plant, the more tubers you would have, but that's not the case. So, our last vine over here is giving me a bunch of little ones, it looks like, maybe. Yeah, a bunch of little ones, it looks like. But, like I said, I make mashed sweet potatoes a lot, so the small ones aren't any big deal. I do like to have bigger ones because we like to make sweet potato fries, but it is what it is. You get what you can get. So that's everything out of this barrel. That's it. That is everything I grew. That was maybe two pounds, kind of boo. Um, well, let's move on to the next one, see if it did any better. Okay. I don't know. Trying to, oop, felt something. first pull. Just a bunch of little things. But again, I'm not mad about the little things. This soil is something I've been trying to amend. So, I mean, some of the soil's great. Some of the soil could be better. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna get a bunch of, at least these are fat. Got some fat little ones. Soil here's not too bad. I'm not super pleased. The first time I grew these, they were a lot bigger, but these are not, they're not bad sized. They're not tiny. Some of these just did not get a great start. So, I got nothing. take a look. That is a chunk. It's been a little, uh, little eaten on, but nothing I can't cut out. And that's where it was. We added, yeah. We added some pine needles uh, to help the soil be looser and they didn't break down as fast as I thought maybe they might um, and they didn't help the potatoes grow uh, as easily as I thought they might. But with that one chunk you saw, let's see if I get another one. Eh, decent size. That one chunk you saw, I mean, it didn't do bad. Let's see what else we have in here. Not bad. 
I am not displeased. All right, so my hands are filthy, but uh, let's take a look at what we got. That's not bad. Um, so out of, let's see, five times five is 25. I'd say maybe 20, and maybe 20 plants. Um, I don't know what the weight is of these potatoes, um, but I am not mad about this harvest. Even medium-sized sweet potatoes are going to be great for my family. Um, we don't eat them a whole, whole lot. I generally will harvest them and then leave them in a dry, cool place to use them for Thanksgiving, and I mash them up and make a big old thing of mashed potatoes for the family. Um, and honestly, that's about all we get out of them half the time. Um, the first year I grew them, I got a ton. I'd say 20 or 30 pounds. And the slips come from store-bought potatoes. These are probably the third generation. They are the third generation off of the same potatoes that I grew. And um, last year's were tiny. That's, we didn't get anything out of last year. This year is much better. And uh, let's go into a little bit about what I saw as I was harvesting. So as you can see, like these bigger ones came out of the later barrels, whereas like these came out of those barrels. Now, we have trees, the mulberry and then my neighbor's elm, that cover and shade those back barrels. These front at least these two, maybe even that third, they get better sun. So with more sun, I'm going to assume probably bigger growth. I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh, the more energy that it can store into the roots, make a bigger tuber, uh, then that's what's gonna happen. So first rule of thumb, if you're new to growing sweet potatoes, um, is definitely be sure that you have a good sunny spot, good loose soil. The looser the soil, the better they'll grow. And that was something I learned from last year. Last year, I just put them in some clay because honestly, I didn't have anything better. Um, this year, we tried to amend the soil as best we could with anything from wood chips to leaves to um, the pine needles that you saw. And that did help loosen it up and it was much easier to harvest them. So I'm assuming it's, it was much easier for them to grow, which is probably why instead of the smaller ones, I actually got decent sized, medium sized ones and a couple bigger ones. Um, but really, that's it for today. I just wanted to harvest those and see what it looked like, tell you a little bit about what I learned growing them. Can you grow sweet potatoes in Oklahoma? Absolutely. They do love our summers. They really, really do. Um, I actually cut the leaves off the vines ever so often because they get unwieldy and feed them to the rabbit. Um, in fact, I'm thinking about next year maybe trying to put a cage or something around them so that I can kind of make them go up and then over so they're not sprawling across the ground because as we know, husband doesn't like the messy garden and things sprawling across the ground. So that's really it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, a great weekend, and that you enjoy gardening just as much as I do. Um, if you have anything else that you want to share with me, of course, leave that in the comments. I do my best to check on that stuff, to answer, reply, and and either give you motivation or answers to questions. So, you know, hit me up. Anyway, until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.